hit that subscribe button, like that video, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Woo! Imagine I like started my videos like that. Hey Health Nuts, it's Nicole from Health Nut Nutrition and welcome back to my channel. I thought to wrap up the end of January, I would do another meal prep video. I know you guys love these and I've been trying to do one every single month. And in the spirit of New Year's resolutions and restarting uh, for the year, I thought I would do a detox meal prep. And by detox, I really just mean these are nutrient dense foods that are really simple and easy for your body to digest. We have things like juices, soups, and salads today. And uh, fun fact, your body actually detoxes itself. It doesn't need a shot of ginger and lemon juice in the morning to detox. It just does it naturally every single day, but it is important to, you know, sometimes give your body a little bit of a break from all those processed foods that are out there in the grocery stores and just eat simple nutrient dense foods that are gonna really be easy for your body to kind of uh, cleanse and digest and it's gonna make you feel re-energized. So uh, let's get started and I will share with you guys what is on this week's meal plan. Okay, so for breakfast this week, we are making a two different options. One of them is a green detox juice. It takes five minutes to make in your blender. It's a fun little hack I love to do when I feel like juice, but I don't wanna spend an hour chopping and doing all that cleanup stuff with a traditional uh, juicer. So first you're gonna need a large blender and I'm using a high speed blender, but I've used this in smaller, less powerful blenders and it works as well. Maybe not exactly the same, but you're still gonna get similar results. So don't worry, you don't have to go out and buy a brand new blender to make this juice. Anytime I'm blending things, I like to start with the liquid first and then add in the more watery foods. So for this juice, I have water, peeled lemon, cucumber, celery, romaine lettuce, ginger root, kale, green apple, and some spirulina powder. Pop on the lid and give it a really good blend. I usually like to blend it anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds until everything kind of mixes through. And if you have a high speed blender with like a little tamper stick, use it to like mush all the ingredients down. Otherwise you might have to stop it, press them down and then start it again, but no big deal. And then you're gonna be left with this like slushy green mixture. So I like to strain mine through a nut milk bag. And I've honestly had this bag for years. It was the best purchase ever. I will link the exact one I have in the info box down below. Um, but basically you're just gonna use this strainer to strain out the juice, all the pulp out of the juice I mean. And then you're gonna be left with a vibrant, healthy, nutrient dense, green detox juice. And I love this juice in the mornings. I like to make extra store in the fridge and then have it for the next day as well. And it's super delicious. And like I said, it takes like half the time, five minutes to be exact. Ah. Woo, that lemon and ginger. I feel my body detoxing already. <laughs> All right, so breakfast number two is a red quinoa oatmeal. I actually have a recipe on my blog. By the way, I'll link all the recipes I'm mentioning in today's video in the info box down below. So check out that info box, lots of information there. Uh, so usually this recipe has a mixture of steel cut oats with red quinoa, and I love the mixture together. Um, but I thought I would just lighten it up a bit, especially if you're gonna have it with the green juice and you're looking to kind of give your body a break of a little bit more heavier food. So quinoa is really easy to digest. It's actually a seed, not even a grain. So it's naturally gluten-free and I love having red quinoa as opposed to white quinoa for breakfast because it's a little bit heartier. It doesn't get like too mushy when you cook it up. And I'm gonna cook it up like an oatmeal. So I have a pot of water boiling with a little sea salt. I'm gonna add in my red quinoa and then I'm gonna just let that cook, bring it up to a boil. And then I'm just gonna lower the heat, let it cook with a lid on for about 15 minutes like you would regular quinoa. And then during the last five minutes, I'm gonna take off the lid. I'm gonna mix in some coconut milk. You can use any milk that you like. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of maple syrup um, this is just to sweeten it up. You can take this out if you're gonna put some fruit on top and you're trying to do a low sugar diet, uh, but it's nice to have it a little sweetened for breakfast. I'm gonna mix that up, let it cook with no lid for a little bit longer, uh, just to kind of evaporate some of the liquid. And then you have a delicious quinoa oatmeal that you can serve. And I like to put lots of different toppings on mine today. I have some coconut flakes, I have some blueberries, along with some creamy almond butter, which I love almond butter, it's so good. And then you can add a little bit more coconut milk when you're heating it up to get it all nice and creamy and it is delicious full of protein it's gonna keep you full and like I said it's nice and light on your system this is what it looks like here and I love how you can just like easily prep all your ingredients put the lid on 
pop it in the fridge and you can just make as many portions as you want. And the quinoa will last all week long, which I really like. Now for lunch, we're gonna make some mason jar salads. Yep, I'm bringing these back. I feel like it's been, these used to be like the biggest thing. And I mean, they're genius. You have the dressing at the bottom, so you don't have to bring a separate container. And you do, you go from hardest vegetables or protein uh, to softest and more like water dense, I guess. Uh, that way things don't get soggy. So this is like genius. I put all my lettuce on top, like I said, it doesn't get soggy and it's easy to bring with you to work. Uh, so for this one, I started with a simple like French vinaigrette dressing. I have tons of dressing recipes on my blog. I will link them down below in the info box. This one was just like olive oil, Dijon, uh, balsamic, apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper, and uh, I'm probably forgetting something else. Dijon mustard, did I say that? And I just give it a shake. I throw it on the bottom first and then I have some chickpeas because they're harder and they're not gonna get soggy in the dressing. Next I have some celery, yellow pepper, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, and for some extra protein I also have some boiled eggs here chopped up and some mixed greens right on top. And then when you get to work, all you have to do is like give it a good shake and dump it out into like a big bowl. So that's, I would bring like a separate bowl, maybe keep one at work if there's a kitchen. And then all you have to do is like bring a fork, a big bowl. You can just eat it out of the jar, but you're gonna have to eat it like in the layers, which works as well. But I like to shake mine out in a bowl and it's so good. And it's the chickpeas get all marinated in the dressing and it's just delicious. So if you've never tried a mason jar salad, give it a try. They're honestly genius. And you can just prep a few of these in the fridge. I would probably prep like three at a time. Um, and they're just really easy to take with you to work or school. All right, snack time, because you guys know I love a good snack time. Uh, I just kept it super easy. I got some cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, super water dense and nourishing and hydrating. And then uh, lately I've just been addicted to clementines. These are so good, very hydrating, full of vitamin C, especially for this flu and cold season that everyone is going through right now. So lots of hydrating veggies and fruit um, to keep you satiated when you're hungry. Mm. Cucumber's the best. All right, then to wrap things up for dinner, we are making my ultimate detox soup recipe. And I have not made the soup in a while. I love it because it's just full of vegetables. It has a really cool ruby red broth from the beets. And this soup is like the perfect thing to eat when you're trying to like cleanse and detox your body a little bit because it's just filled with a ton of veggies. There's not a lot of salt in here. It's just flavored from garlic and ginger and onion and it just cooks up all in one pot, as most soups do, and it's really nourishing. So give this soup a try. Try having it for a few days in a row and see how you feel. Um, it's definitely gonna give your digestive system a little kick in the butt uh, with all of these veggies and fiber in it. So to make this soup, you're gonna need a large soup pot, and you're gonna heat that up with a little bit of olive oil, and then you're gonna saute some minced garlic and ginger. And I also meant to add in the onion at this point, but I totally forgot and I added it later, which is fine, because it's gonna cook up all together. Um, but if you can remember, put the onion in with the garlic and ginger so it caramelizes just a little bit. Next, you're gonna add in all of your chopped up veggies we have beets, broccoli, carrots, onion, cabbage, fresh herbs. I have a mixture of parsley and cilantro. Cilantro is so good for detoxifying your liver and removing heavy metals from the body, so I love to add it into my meals any chance I get. Juice from half of a lemon, a couple dried bay leaves, and then for spices, I'm using some cayenne to give some heat to the soup and a good sprinkle of turmeric. And then some salt and pepper to finish it up. And then you're just gonna top all of these veggies with eight cups of water. You're gonna give it a quick stir, get everything nice and combined and let that come to a boil. Once it's boiled, bring it down to simmer and just cook until all the veggies are nice and tender. I will have all the instructions and measurements over on my blog. I will link the recipe down below in the info box. Now, the one thing I should tell you about the soup is do not wear white with it because this broth will stain. Oh, so good. Mm. Oh yeah, detoxing is happening right now. All right guys, there you have it. That is my detox friendly meal prep. Hopefully you guys got some good inspiration of some recipes that you can make to reset your body, feel amazing, 
and uh, kick your butt in gear for 2018. So let me know what your favorite recipe was that I made today. And if you guys wanna vote for the next meal prep video for next month, I'm gonna have a poll in the top right hand corner that you, where you can vote and there's gonna be options from like a vegan meal prep, gluten-free meal prep, uh, eco-friendly meal prep using like no waste. Uh, so let me know what you guys want to see and I will make it happen. Also, um, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I post two to three times on my channel. I post what I eat in a days, routines, uh, grocery hauls, recipes, tons of stuff um, that I know you guys are going to love. So thank you so much for watching guys. And oh, and PS, sign up for my newsletter because the February issue is going to be launching February 1st. So if you want to sign up, just click the link in the info box down below, sign up. It's free. You only get one newsletter every single month and it's filled with some exclusive content, my monthly favorites, so you don't want to miss it. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a fabulous day. Bye guys!